Yeah, my, my name's Jiran Bunjalini, Burrum Mundanarung, Japwarong, Krautangalung. Um, come from a place now called Victoria. And I'm here at the, uh, the, re uh, the Referendum Council Summit meeting, which is uh, an attempt to um, include Aboriginal people in the Constitution. And um, at, at this point, it it's, seems a very sad state of affairs for me. This is a culmination of a lot of struggle for a lot of people here. And you know, the offer to uh, slot us into the back of the Constitution that's always <laughs> denied us our humanity and our human rights for so long is insulting, offensive and disrespectful in the extreme, I, I think. Um, it's only by a miracle that I ended up being a part of this delegation and I've been critical of the whole process since day one and um, I've been one of the I, I'm one of the people behind pushing the idea of a treaty first and we need to be talking about justice for our people first before we you know, even think about things like constitutional inclusion and we need to be talking about war crimes commissions uh, or truth commission uh, we need to talk about acknowledging the precedent law on this land, the most ancient of all laws on this planet, not recognised in this country. There's some things that need to happen, and they're pretty fundamental. You know, um, they're basic and fundamental human rights laws that they're, they're skipping over here. And, and um, I feel that if, if they think they're going to have a treaty after the fact that we're inside the Constitution, I think we're dreaming there. It's not going to happen, folks. We're Aussies now, and we're locked in. We're no different than anyone else. Outside this constitution, we, we retain a unique status in this country as the, the original people here with that unique status. And that's, that could be all taken away as this being other members of this constitution here. Now, I, I deliberately took my file out of the organisations in 1989 because of the, the issue of uh, corporation law. And uh, what's well, not our law. It doesn't suit our people. We've already got a structure in, in our own land, a way of representation. It's, it's called our elders. And, and in this process, I don't see the elders being respected. I don't see our elders being respected in any of the, the corporation laws in the organisations. And so I'm, I'm stuck on that. And I'm here today, to hopefully, just on like the hope and got some faith in my people and the spirit and such a beautiful place incredibly beautiful place, full of black spirit here. If anything's going to happen, this is what this place where it might happen. This is there's a lot of Aboriginal governance going on here, in a sense. Whereas you know, that's the law I want to follow in my country, the law of this land, not the law of England or anywhere else. Those those fundamental legal issues haven't been resolved. To be talking about inclusion in in the constitution, the one that's always rejected our people and caused so much misery and pain for our people. I think it's it's premature, mm. and uh, you know it's it's. Someone told me this is a four hundred million dollar process that's spent on this process over the last ten years, and the people who created the thing, you know, the the prime minister's cabinet and the people involved, are not even here. They're not even going to see their process through. So that's another insult for Aboriginal people. The prime minister can't be here, you know, to take the document. Where is he at the footy? You know, it's a joke, folks. Um, you know, this may determine which way I, I go from here. You know, I've done 40 years of um, politicking and observing and what's going on, and uh, this, this will determine a lot of things for me, which way I, I, I step in the future. So, do you have a, do you have an end vision of how the right way will be resolved? I would say that it needs to be a treaty first, and you know. What we could do here is put up our treaty demands and demand that these these basic and fundamental issues need to be resolved before we talk about you know, um, coexisting in this country together in a reasonable way. But I say treaty first and our treaty demands put up to be resolved by 2020. And that's 250 years since Cook. It will be 2020. It's a very significant date that we're not focused on. We could say that we need our treaty demands resolved by that point. Have some vision, White Australia. It's called 2020 vision, right? Yeah. Let's resolve these fundamental illegalities that this country has been carrying with it, and, and they're trying to force us into that process. You know, I don't want to be a part of that. You know, we come from a lawful place, 
a peaceful and lawful place before colonisation. You know? you know, we don't need to go backwards hundreds of thousands of years in our development as human beings to accommodate these criminals that occupy our land today. You know, I think we can do better than that. So, you know, we've just got to keep on punching. But um, you know, if it does, you know, this is like a summit for a lot of things, you know, a lot of hard work for a lot of lot of people. I think if the, if we don't get what we want here. Um, well, we need to take a different tact, I believe, and uh, it, it could go any way. And it's not our fault that we, we're fighting for our survival in our own country, you know, but we're going to be doing that. Now, it might have been a good idea to kill us all. If you're going to premeditate criminal genocide, you know, don't mess around, do it properly, because the people who survived that Holocaust are not going to want to assimilate. So that's a form of torture that we're facing today, being forced to assimilate into the the thing we despise most in our lives. This is the pain and the misery it's causing Aboriginal people. What's the saying? Justice denied, or justice delayed is justice denied, Australia. It's t nearly 250 years. You're the only Commonwealth country without a treaty. Think about that. Treaties are about making peace, ending wars. Not about money. Primarily, they're, they're the points I want to see in a treaty. End your war, acknowledge that your war, end your war, and, and, and as a result of Acknowledging the world, there needs to be a, a, a treaty and an outcome. Is it, you know, these are international legal standards that Australia doesn't adhere to. You know, many other convention laws that they, they're not interested in. They, they can't live with those convention laws internationally. Australia's just one hell of a crime scene up until this point. And um, you know, I live in faith and, and, and hope. And if everything can change, this is maybe the place it could happen. This has got a strong black presence in this land here. And our, our law is uh, uh, it's spirit based law. It's not man or woman made. It's coming from the beginning of time. We can't let go of that. We can never let go of that. And um, if we don't enshrine that in this process here, we're done. I, I see uh, the Treaty of Peace sits underneath the new constitution in this country. While, while we flog on a dead, uh, a dead horse, it's the most despicable constitution on the face of the planet. It, it's called the white only policy constitution, you know. Surely we're beyond this, folks. And anything special you want to hand on to the youth, the next younger generations coming up behind us? Well, something that really, really uh, special that's been handed on to our youth is the unceded sovereignty, the law of the land. You know, that's the most major gift that any of our people could have given to the younger generation. Because mm -hmm. our law is such a beautiful thing, such a strong thing. It works in this land. It's, it's, it's what we follow, so this is what we've handed on to our young people, unseated. And there's been a lot of young people over those generations who have had the same feelings and, and energy like young people have got. They wanted that now, which is, I understand, I was like that too. But over the years, you, know, you, you learn to, to be, try to be reasonable and rational, but starting to wear thin. But the, we've handed on a beautiful gift already. Just stay true to yourself believe in who you are, you know, you, we're beautiful people, I, I love my people, I love their resilience, I love their spirit, don't ever get that going, you know, there's nothing in that constitution that they're offering that's, that's worth anything, it's just, it's just an att another attempt to take away our rights, mm. so stay strong people, and um, you know, I've got faith in my young people too, because it's, the spirit's, it's a, it's a circular thing, you know, you, you live, you die, you come back. And let's set it up for when you do come back. Don't sell nothing. Don't belong to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.